All right then, gang, so next up we're going to talk about modals. So modals are another name for pop-ups. You normally see them on websites a bit too frequently, in my opinion, for users to either sign up for some kind of email list, maybe to sign into a website, or even to show some kind of promo or image. Now, if we click this button right here, we can see an example of a bootstrap modal. So it grays out the background to make it stand out more, and if we click either the cross or the button or the grayed out background, the modal is gonna go away. So this is what we're gonna to add to our project now. Okay, so we're gonna code two different parts here. First of all, we need to code some kind of button which a user is gonna click on to trigger the modal. So that's gonna be this section. And then secondly, we have to code the modal itself. That's the thing that's gonna show when the user clicks on the button. So the button is gonna be right at the bottom in some kind of footer below the form. That's where we're coding it right here. So let's start with a section. We don't need an ID for this because we're not gonna to navigate to this section from the nav bar. However, we will give this a background color, BG hyphen light. And then inside that, I'm gonna do a container. So div dot container like so. And I'm just gonna paste in the title, which is text center, stay in the loop, and then a paragraph that says, get the latest updates as they happen. All right, so below this, we need some kind of button and we're gonna place that inside a grid. So div.row, we've seen all this before, and then justify hyphen content hyphen center to centralize the element in the middle of the row. Okay, so we'll do a div for the column and it's gonna be col md hyphen eight and also text hyphen center. All right then, so that means it's gonna be full width on very small screens. When it gets to medium sized screens and up, it's gonna be eight columns in width. And then inside here, I'm just gonna paste in a couple of things and then explain them. So we just have a paragraph tag, first of all, with text muted and a bit of margin. And then below that, we have a button with a class of BTN and BTN primary. So it's that blue color. And then we have two extra things. We have two attributes data bootstrap toggle and that's saying what it's going to toggle well in our case it's going to be a modal so it knows to implement the modal behavior and then secondly the target modal that we're going to open when we click on this button so it knows it's looking for this id right here and that will be the id of the modal down here in a minute and it says register for updates in the center so let's take a look at that in the browser all right register for updates what we also need to do is make sure this is spelt correctly, justify content center to make sure it goes in the middle. Okay, that looks better. So now when a user clicks on this, that's when I wanna show the modal. So we have to create the modal now with this ID right here. So let's do that down here. Okay then, so first things first, we need a div to surround the modal. This has a class of modal and also a class of fade. This is so it fades in and out when we click on the button. And also we need an ID for this. And that ID is equal to reg modal, the same ID as this thing right here, the target. So let's paste that in here. So when we click on this button, it knows to look for this modal to open. Okay, now there's also a couple of other things I wanna paste in here. And that's these three things. Tab index minus one. So it takes it out of the tab index when you're tabbing through the page the aria labeled by, and that's gonna be a modal title. It will come inside the modal later on. And also aria hidden is equal to true, meaning it's not showing by default when we first come on the page. So that's the modal wrapper, if you like. Now inside, we need a modal dialog. So div.modal hyphen dialog like so. So this is where all the content of the modal is gonna go basically. And inside that we have div.modal hyphen content. So the dialogue is gonna be, you know, like the white bubble that pops up on the screen, and then this, the content inside the bubble. All right then, so inside the modal content, we can have a modal header, a modal body, and a modal footer, and we're gonna have all three. Let's do the modal header first of all, a div with a class of modal hyphen header. And inside that, I want a modal title. And in fact, I'm just gonna paste a couple of things in. So you don't have to watch me type everything out from scratch. So we have an H5, which has a class of modal title, and that's just so it styles the title. The ID is modal title, and this tells this ARIA label that this is the title of the modal, if you like, because the modal is labeled by modal title. So it looks for the ID, which is right here, and it can see this is the label for the modal. 
Okay, so beneath that we have a button and the type is button. The class is BTN close. This makes like a cross button for us in the modal and Bootstrap automatically positions it in the right place. And then we have this data bootstrap dismiss attribute, which says what to dismiss when we click on this button right here. And it says dismiss modal, which is this class right here. Okay, so then we have the aria label, which is equal to close. All right, so that's the modal header. Let's now move on to the modal body. So div dot modal hyphen body like so. And inside here, I'm going to do a paragraph, first of all, with a bit of lorem ipsum. And then after the paragraph, I will do a label because we're going to have an input field for a user to enter in their email. And I'm going to say this is for modal email. I've just made that up. You can call this whatever you want. And then also we'll give this a class and that is equal to form hyphen label. We've seen this previously when we work with forms. And then the label is going to have some text inside it that will just say your email address, like so. And beneath that, we're going to do an input. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste this in because A, I'm super lazy, and B, it helps you because you're not watching me type it out from scratch. And inside this input, we have a type of text. We could change that to email if we wanted to because the user is putting in their email here. The class of form control, which styles the input, we've seen that before. The ID of modal email, so it links up with the label right here, and a placeholder. Okay, so that's it for the modal body. After the modal body, we'll do a modal footer. So div.modal-footer, this stuff goes at the bottom of the modal, and we're going to have a button inside here, and the class is going to be equal to btn, and btn-primary, like so. And inside the button, we'll just say submit. All right then. So if I save this now and preview, if I click on this, now we see this modal right here. So if we cross away from it, it closes. If we click on the cross right here, it closes as well. Now I'm just gonna go back to the code because this BTN thing didn't work and that's because I've misspelled class. So let's save that and see if the button looks better. Okay, it looks better now, cool. All right then my friends, so that is a modal. Pretty easy, right? And there are other variations, so definitely check out the documentation to see what else you can do with modals. Next up, we're gonna look at another Bootstrap 5 new component, the off canvas.